Okay, y'all. <clears throat> this is after the fish have been cleaned. Now I took them inside to rinse them off with water. You rinse them really, really good. Uh, soak them in water for a little while and rinse them off. Get all the dirt, all the sand, anything that's nasty on them off. Then I'll lay them out, piece by piece, just like that, paper towel, and I pat them all dry. Get all the all the water off of them that was soaking on them. And then what I do is I bag them up in my Ziploc bags, and then we'll go to the sink and we'll fill them up with water, and we'll freeze them with water in them. Keeps the fish really fresh when you freeze them with water. If you don't freeze them with water in them, they'll get freezer burnt and they'll taste like crap. And this is the Spanish mackerel filet. This is really good, really white meat. That's the speckled trout, really white meat. There's some bass, decently white meat. And then the speckled catfish, not too white, but not too dingy either. So I think I still got a piece of black drum in there. Oh, where's that black drum? There's a piece of black, oh, right there, black drum right there. And then a the little croaker I've already got in the bag. So this is how I do my fish when I put them in the freezer. This is how I prepare them to freeze and uh, reuse and eat, you know, for weeks down the road or whatever. Uh, I think I still got a big catfish in the freezer. There, big cat. So we got plenty of fish now. So anyhow, if you have any questions, so uh, just feel free to ask, like, and subscribe. Uh, check us out on YouTube, Sander Fit Strong Fishing Bros S and S. We also have a, a group, Fishing Bros S and S. Uh, answer a few questions, check you out, prove you. No, I'm gonna cook the collard greens too. Yummy. Bacon. Rah! Y'all you know, like and subscribe. Thank you.